Samsung is finally rolling out the long-awaited One UI 7 update. And if you own a Galaxy phone, this is big news. The official rollout starts on April 7, 2025, and Galaxy users have been eagerly waiting for months. But now the wait is almost over. If you own a Galaxy S24, S24 Plus, or S24 Ultra, you're first in line. Samsung has spent months testing the beta version to make sure everything runs smoothly, and now the stable update is ready. But that's just the beginning. Samsung has a much bigger rollout plan and more devices will be getting the update soon. If you have an older Galaxy model, you might need to wait a little longer, but One UI 7 is coming and it's packed with exciting new features. Samsung has officially confirmed that the update will roll out to more devices, including the Galaxy Z Fold 6, Z Flip 6, and the entire S23 series. While these devices are next in line, release dates will vary depending on your region and carrier. Some users will get it earlier than others, so keep an eye out for notifications. The Galaxy S25 series already comes with one UI 7 out of the box, and Samsung is ensuring that even mid-range devices like the Galaxy A26, A36, and A56 will launch with it pre-installed. If you have an older device, expect to see the update gradually roll out over the coming months. Samsung usually releases updates in phases, so while some regions might get one UI 7 immediately, others might have to wait weeks or even months. But why did Samsung take so long to release One UI 7 when Google already updated Pixel phones to Android 15 last year? The answer is optimization. Samsung took extra time to refine and polish the update to ensure a seamless experience. The company has been extensively testing One UI 7 on various models, from the S23 series to the latest foldables, making sure the update is stable before releasing it worldwide. Samsung is also under pressure, as Google is already working on Android 16, which is expected to be announced in June. That means Samsung has a limited window to complete the One UI 7 rollout before the next bid Android update arrives. So what's new in One UI 7? Samsung is introducing some major design changes, AI-powered features, and a brand new user experience. One of the biggest changes is the redesigned app drawer, which now features a vertical scrolling layout by default. If you prefer the traditional horizontal view, you can switch back in the settings, but some users might find the process a bit annoying. The notification panel is also getting a major overhaul. Now notifications and quick toggles are separated. Swiping down from the top right corner brings up the quick panel, while regular notifications stay in place. This design is reminiscent of Apple's control center, and while some users might love it, others may find it unnecessary. A brand new feature called the Now Bar is making its debut in One UI 7. Think of it as Samsung's answer to Apple's dynamic island. This persistent widget displays real-time updates on sports scores, notifications, and more directly from your lock screen. However, early beta testers have reported issues with Google Sports integration, so if you rely on live updates, you may experience some glitches. Samsung is expected to fix this before the final rollout. Another exciting AI-powered feature is AI Select, an improved version of the Smart Select tool, which now suggests actions based on the content you highlight. This makes it much easier to interact with your phone in a smarter and more efficient way. Additionally, Samsung has introduced AI search in the gallery and settings apps, allowing users to find photos, documents, and settings, even if they don't remember the exact names. Customization lovers will be excited to know that One UI 7 introduces AI-generated stickers. Samsung has added an AI-powered key to its emoji keyboard, allowing users to create unique stickers on the fly but there's uncertainty about whether this feature will be available on older models like the Galaxy S21. However, newer models should have full support. Speaking of customization, Samsung has also tweaked the camera app, making the interface cleaner and more user-friendly, especially for one-handed use. This update improves accessibility, allowing users to access important camera functions quickly. One UI 7 also brings improvements to the quick panel. The brightness and volume controls have been redesigned with horizontal bars, making them easier to adjust, there's also a new notifications layout, an updated battery indicator, refreshed app icons, and a full screen media player. Another new feature called Nearby allows users to control live activities directly from their lock screen, making it easier to interact with real-time apps and notifications. Samsung has confirmed that the initial rollout will start with the Galaxy S24 series, Z Fold 6, Z Flip 6, and Tab S10 series. After that, more devices will gradually receive the update. If you're in South Korea or Germany, expect the update on April 7. If you're in the US, it will arrive on April 10. Other markets should start seeing One UI 7 by April 14, but depending on your carrier and region, the update could take a few extra days or weeks. Samsung hasn't provided exact dates for mid-range models yet, but if history is any indication, 
Devices like the Galaxy A series and older flagship models should receive the update by late April or early May. With One UI 7, Samsung is proving that it's serious about refining the Galaxy experience. This update isn't just about cosmetic changes, it introduces smarter AI features, better organization, and a smoother user experience. If you own a Galaxy device, get ready because this update is about to make your phone feel brand new. So what are your thoughts on One UI 7? Are you excited about the new features? Drop a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on Samsung and Android news.